You think that, uh, Siona, that sometimes people are more willing to listen to you because they can connect with your past? People that have been in similar situations, mm -hmm. it's interesting enough um, when I end up trying to make my way back, some of my biggest critics, aside from myself, were other Latter-day Saints. Mm. And, and I think some of it was maybe a bit of an anomaly to have someone that made a mistake as grievous as I had to be able to make their way back, take advantage of the atonement. And so, you know, it's been a, a huge learning process, but I think we all can learn from each other uh, and definitely, you know, un understand that regardless, whatever mistakes that we make, and I think it's helped me as a parent. You know, I can only imagine when I ended up coming home early from my mission and going straight to jail. Like my parents had did everything they possibly could, but at the end of the day, you know, we've realized that regardless of whatever mistakes that we can make, the atonement can allow us to come back from that. And it's helped me become a lot better parent uh, and friend. Is there a specific story that you connect with in scriptures or maybe even a character such as Paul that has kind of helped you learn from and maybe even shape some aspects of your life on overcoming uh, to become something better? Yeah, so I had my own James 1-5 moment okay. when I was locked up, and it was in 2 Nephi. So Lehi's on his deathbed, and his sons, we know some are righteous, some are evil, right? Mm -hmm. And they were asking him for some of his last pearls of wisdom. And this was really the turning point for me because I was really struggling. You know, can I make it back? Are there things that I can do and overcome? And in 2 Nephi chapter 2, verses 14 through uh, 16, he goes on and he says, and now my sons, I speak to you these things for your profit and learning, for there is a God and he hath created all things, both in heavens and in the earth and all things that in them are, both things to act and things to be acted upon, to bring about his eternal purposes to the end of man after he had created our first parents and the beasts of the field and the fowls in the air and in fine, all things that in them are. It must needs be that there is an opposition even the forbidden fruit to the tree of life, the one being sweeter, the other bitter. For me, I just could not believe that this was just like my road to Damascus moment, mm. right? That it was okay for me to make mistakes, but I needed to be able to learn from those. And then in verse 25, he goes on to say that Adam fell that men might be and men are that might, men might have joy. So thinking about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, living perfect, but not knowing that they were happy until they partook, took the fruit, was something that really brought in riches in my life because it's okay to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's what we do with those mistakes to define who we are as, as people.